All right, in this video, I'm going to give you my thoughts about India's astronaut who has finally shot out into space. What do I think about this? Is this something to celebrate, not to celebrate? Is this something great, not great? And uh, one very important uh, uh, question, which I definitely want you to focus, why it is not only him who should get the credit? Who else should get the credit? Is it the Americans? Is it the Japanese? Is it somebody else? I'll address all in this video. So watch this video and uh, feel free to let me know your thoughts. Now, right off the bat, let's, let's admit one thing. Um, after 41 years, nearly 41 years, we have the second Indian who is now into space. And his name is Shuban Shu. Uh, Shubanshu Shukla. All right. Um, I I did I read around twenty articles, um, compiled all of them together, and these are a couple of his credentials. Uh, he was a group captain in the Indian Air Force, a highly skilled pilot. He used to fly advanced jet fighters like MIGs and Sukhosis, two thousand hours of flying experience. Um, the first guy who had landed into space was in 1984, and uh, it was a space station called Salute Dash uh, Seven. Now, after nearly 41 years, nearly nearly 50 years, half a century, we have the second Indian, and he is going to be the first Indian who is going to visit the ISS, that is the International Space Station. Um, now. Uh, it's not just him. There are four other people. You can see it on the Twitter uh, handle if you actually click there. There are four other people and uh, I'll tell you, their names are uh, American Commander Peggy Wint Whitson. Whitson. Okay, she's the main commander. She's very experienced. A Polish engineer, a Hungarian teacher along with Shukla. Now, but Shukla is, it seems, the main pilot. All right. So uh, what else uh, did I find about him is uh, he's currently the guy who's you know going to be at ISIS and they are training him because later on there is another mission that India is focusing on and that is the Gaganyaan, Gaganyaan which is planned for 2027. All right, so I give you the gist of everything. So now it comes down to my question that I uh, that I stated off, like uh, what has he done? Has he done something great? Uh, should he get the credit? So should someone else get the credit? Okay, I'll answer these bits. Now, first and foremost, um, does he deserve credit? This is where you will find a slight twist. It's not just him who has to get the credit. Yes, he worked hard. Yes, he has dedicated his life. Yes, he has given discipline, dedication. There is somebody else who we are forgetting and we are not recognizing and that is his mother and father. Okay. Uh, I tried to search online for his mother and father's photograph. I couldn't find it. I don't know which part of India is he from also. Uh, because I, this is my opinion. I believe that they are the true heroes. They are the unsung heroes who sacrificed their time, money, effort. Uh, who knows, maybe their dreams and hopes to put it into this young man, he's not young anyway, um, and uh, helped him achieve his dream. So a lot of respect, recognition, and uh, you know, uh, regard should be given to his parents. They are the actual heroes, okay? That is number one. Number two, the second hero is this guy, Shubhanshu Shukla, because remember, out of 1.4 billion people, he alone succeeded. So just imagine, he is one in a generation. And uh, the only other person who could do it was 41 years ago. So he's a very rare and exceptionally special human being. Now, coming to how did it happen? I'm actually kind of surprised that uh, the other papers are not putting this as like a major headlines. Maybe because uh, there have been many astronauts or maybe it's happening in India where they are putting it in the front news. Normally, if there's something BJP or uh, Modi, it's in the front news. I'm pretty sure they'll put Shukla's photograph with Modi at the side, you know, something like that. BJP always likes to take credit for it, which I guess is Modi's brand of marketing. But Shukla is, uh, you know, the person that has put India uh, globally right now. So what happened was, 
this is the sequence of events. Huh? Uh, it was supposed to be launched a little bit before, but because of weather conditions, it seems they delayed it multiple number of times because it's it has to be safe. Um, understand this, it is not like a rocket going and, you know, just landing on something. It is, uh, it has to, if you see these space movies, no? uh, you'll know, especially gravity and all that, whenever there's a, a, a rocket or, you know, going to dock with another space station, it has to move at its same speed. It has to move, you know, whether it goes round or, yeah. You can see this in the movie Martian. By the way, I love Martian. Martian was... Matt Damon's movie, uh, one of my favorites. I loved. I've seen that movie, I would say more than twelve to fourteen times. Ma if you have not seen The Martian, must watch. It's a great movie. The only other space movie which I think was really shot well was Gravity. These two movies are kind of crazy. Yes, there are science fiction alien movies, but these are the two like real nice ones. Okay, so uh, yeah, so I was saying that you know once it launches, both these spaceships have to align and if they keep rotating they have to rotate in the same way because they have to dock okay um so they delayed it finally on wednesday june 25th 2025 12 01 pm the rocket blasted off from florida carrying these four space astronauts okay to the iss that is international space station not isis okay isis is extremist organization all right so he is um, the captain. I think he's the one who is actually driving, you know, not like a car or anything. He's kind of maneuvering the uh, aircraft. Uh, the other two people who I told you, the Polish engineer and Hungarian t researcher, um, they are marking their return uh, flight. Okay, so um, uh, as what I can see, Peggy Vince, uh, Witson is the most experienced. Second most experience is Polish engineer, Hungarian researcher. And then you have Shukla who's doing it for the first time. And he gave a heartfelt message back to Earth once he landed in space. Namaskar, Mere Piari Desh Vasyon. Greetings, my dear countrymen. It's great to have a, a national language being spoken there. And finally, you know, nobody is going to say, hey, speak in Marathi, speak in Kannada, speak in Kerala. <laughs> Okay, he described um, the uh, ride as amazing. He carried with him a small toy swan, which uh, according to him, uh, it seems the Indian culture symbolizes wisdom. He also gave the mithai. Uh, the mithai that he gave, what was it? Uh, carrot halwa. He wanted them to taste Indian sweets there. Very nice. Good. Something different. Uh, just be careful. Hope you don't get a bad stomach because, you know, when you taste something different, I... Uh, I'm not, I'm not saying Indian food is bad. I'm just saying that, you know, people, when they try something new. And by the way, I want you to check these documentaries where they describe space. Do you know this, that uh, uh, one of the biggest challenges in space is, uh, which you don't think about, is actually going to the toilet. Because just imagine, on Earth, when you sit, gravity pushes everything down, so you don't have to worry. But in space, that's not the way. So you have to... Uh, you know, kind of strap yourself to go to the uh, toilet. And, you know, uh, if you see the movie Martian, everything is collected. You can't just, uh, you know, shoot it off in space. So <laughs> just imagine floating shit. And um, space, one of the astronauts who has traveled many times, he this Ask Me Anything, uh, those series which is there, he says it smells like burnt steak. You know, like when you cook steak for non-vegetarians, you'd know this. When it burns, that is how it smells. The other areas where they do find it very challenging is sleep. You have to be strapped because you can't be floating. You can't leave any object. Even a pencil can puncture something. Uh, so sleep, it's kind of nauseating. And people who go to space for the first time, as per these articles, it seems you feel nause nauseated. Your fluids, you know, your body kind of feels funny when there's no gravity. Uh, some even feel pukish. That's why they undergo all these trainings. Uh, they keep, you know, uh, when they are being trained for space. If you see some of the movies, Apollo 13, they are made to go in circles round, 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 and this way, that way. And, you know, you should, you should not feel you know, the sense of uh, vomiting. Because remember, if in case anything happens when the space shuttle is going, and if something gets hit or and it starts turning, there's no way to, you know, suddenly stop it. So you'll keep turning, turning, turning. You can't uh, 
you know, if you can't stop it, you shouldn't puke. Uh, watch the movie with the Tom Hanks where they actually show you when you puke, it you know kind of floats. I know this sounds disgusting, but these are some of the realities. And one of the biggest, I think, health issues they feel is because there's no gravity, the muscles are not being used. And when muscles are not being used, you tend to feel weak. That is why when these astronauts, they land in the water, uh, you'll see two people carry them because they don't have any strength to uh, stand up also. And even uh, the bone density gets affected because the bones are not working. That is why they say, you know, as you get older, you have to go to the gym and strengthen yourself. So, um, ah, it seems he's from the town of Lucknow. All right, Shukla's family was watching. And you also had Prime Minister congratulating him, the President congratulating him, even Sachin Tendulkar, cricketing legend. Mm, I think he deserves more than this. Okay. I definitely hope that the, you know, the government of India gives him a big reward, big house, big this, big that. And he gives it to his parents because, like I told you, his parents are the real heroes, not just him. Should never forget the parents, especially his mom and dad. Who knows how much they sacrificed for him. All right. So he's currently flying on the mission Axiom 4 with astronauts from United States, Poland, Hungary. Uh, they are collaborating together and he will be trained for the flight, which will be launched India's own in 2027 called Gaganyan. So anyway, this is what I wanted to share with you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think? And did you think I was right when I said that it's not just him who's a hero. It is his mom and dad. Because you should never forget parents who have given you everything. Sometimes when we praise all the stars and all that, we forget that it's not just one person who is done. There's a team behind them, a family. And if you have a supportive family, especially a mother and father who believe in your dreams and support you, you can achieve just about anything. Anyway, these are my thoughts. Good, bad, ugly. Love to hear from you. This is me signing off. You guys take care. Yalla, bye.